Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, I am going to be reviewing Battle Fever J episodes 27 to episodes 39. So, I'm not here alone. I am actually doing it with a special guest. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Glory. Thank you so much for joining me again. You're welcome. Okay, before we get into talking about these set of up these 13 set of episodes let's go ahead and talk about the monsters that was in them so we have black max monster jellyfish action monster <laughs> Mal my Mal monster strange food monster money violet monster earthworm earthworm monster eagle monster Cicada, the killer monster. Ancient fish monster. Bomb monster. Four face monster. Four mushroom monster. And high monster. So these were the 13 monsters that was in these 13 set of episodes. So um, let's go ahead and talk about anything that really stands out in these set of episodes. So. Something that did stand out to me in these set of episodes was in episode um, 30, where this was the episode where Shiro ate a starfish monster, um, the star or strange food monster, which was a starfish, and that one just really was just all weird and wacky. What was your thoughts on that, Gloria? I was actually concerned in that episode because knowing that what he's eating is a monster. But I mean, ain't gonna hold you. The starfish did look appetizing. It just I was concerned because I know that he might have would have died. He yeah, actually really could have been. Yeah, that was just really interesting to say the least. Definitely wasn't something I would expect expecting but yeah something else did cool did happen it, i want to bring up episode 29 because malka monster was interesting looking what's your thoughts on that gloria the one the girl the girl monster yes that ugly looking one Oh, I mean, I didn't have much to say to say about her. I don't know what's that. She kind of reminded me of a witch. I mean, she did look uh disgusting looking. But she's on this. She wasn't disgusting looking. She was just not so pleasing to look at. Hmm. Yeah. But um, I also want to bring up episode thirty-one with money violet's monster um that was actually a pretty interesting episode to see the bond with kentaku and um the truck driver and his younger sister that was actually pretty interesting um episode um episode 32 was just the episode with um with dan battle japan masao so um that was actually an interesting episode as well but unfortunately we get to episode 33 and this is the episode that is really the most sad and probably the best episode of the series in my opinion um this episode was basically about was a kentaku focused episode this was about him and we learned in this episode that he was raised in the orphan and his orphan master, I guess that's what we call it, Gloria, right? Orphan master. Yeah, I think so. Um, but he was he was gunned down by two um two people, um, and that was just really sad. And he we see Kisaku don't want that to happen to the, the girl. Um, we see that her father was killed earlier on in that, like in like the first. Five minutes of that episode, we see that her fa his her father was killed in front of her, and Kitsaku just was really 
disappointing and sad that that had to happen to the little girl. And um, also, the little girl smelled blood on Kensaku because he's obviously battle Kosak and he bites off the monster and stuff. And she don't like the fact that Kensaku is killing people. And yeah, after that, we see Kensaku take his battle suit to the cleaners and is not having that, which we, which we all know that is really dangerous to do because. Well, since Egos know their, their know their identities, they can easily target one of them. And the other rangers are really concerned about Kensaku because he doesn't have his battle suit to fight just in case. So we see the two um we see the two angels went to go go get his battle suit and bring it to him. Alright, and then after that we cut to this really tragic scene where Kensaku or, well, the girl is held up by with Salome and Eagle Monster and basically threatens to kill her and Kensaku can't do anything because he realized he does not have his bounce suit and yeah, so Kensaku ended up getting the, uh, the girl away from Salome and them, but Kensaku ended up unfortunately getting gunned down by the soldiers of this season and that's just really sad it was just a really sad moment we see Jin um which is Kensaku's uh friend or rival slash rival basically save him from more gun down stuff but unfortunately in this episode we see that Kensaku unfortunately did die so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let Gloria talk about her thoughts on that episode <laughs> no, I just keep on talking. Go ahead, give your thoughts on this episode. <laughs> no, 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 I said, you can, you can keep on talking. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was a really um sad moment. Um, I mean, I, I will say it's just really sad to see him go, but. Yeah, I thought this was a really good episode. It's one of my favorites. Oh, you did step we're up. talking about when he died. Yes. Kozak. <laughs> ちゃん。楽しかったかい。それ良かった。先輩。しっかりしろ。しっかりしろ。もう仕分けない。せっけんさ。小坂大丈夫だ。俺たちがやる。かき折り食いてえな。体中が活化するぜ。エゴスの野
Jen. I, I admired, huh? Jen. Yeah, Jen, Jen. I admired how determined he was to like avenge him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I feel that. <laughs> he wasn't playing no games. He came through. Man, he, he got to see it. He was not playing. He was going to avenge him. So, yeah. Um, that's all you have to say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but one thing I will say was a knock again. It's this episode. This was a really so strong episode of the series. Probably my favorite of the series. But is the title. Kosak dies in love. Now why would you spoil your main thing in the episode in the title? I still don't like that. Gun Ranger did the exact same thing. And I didn't give me no slack. I didn't give me no slacks. So I'm not doing the same thing here. So why? Gloria, any thoughts on that? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know why they do that. Sometimes I, I have no idea. But yeah, I don't um, like the spoilers. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on our new character, Jin? I already said it, but if I had to repeat myself, I, I, like I said earlier, I admire his determination. He just, it's, it's really that, you know, that, that right there, that caused me to fall in love. Just like Kosak died in love, I fell for him. Yeah, um, yeah. So, moving on a little bit past that, that's basically, well, we could talk about episode, episode 35, we see, um, Jin, they was, was basically, he's that loner type of person, and he didn't really want to work with the Battle Fever J team, and we see that come out of him, but we, but he learns to that he wants to work with the Battle Fever J team. So this is basically a team building episode where Jin gonna have to learn how to work with the Battle Fever J team. So any thoughts on that episode, Gloria? Um, no. And um, I thought okay, one more thought. I, I episode thirty six was just. That episode was just kind of ridiculous at the same time. It was that whole wedding episode. You want to talk about that one, Gloria? Oh, um, you're talking about when they, when that monster kidnapped her to be his wife? No, not that one. It's the one where Maria got framed for the, with the, the, the box that she gave as a wedding gift. Oh. Um. I guess that was messed up how the way they set her up like that. You know, and that, that girl who was the flower girl, she, I know she really wanted that box that Maria was giving to her friend. It was her friend or her sister that was getting married. Uh, it was She was giving her music box as a gift. And I know the, the, um, the little girl, she really wanted it. So she ended up like switching, switch, replacing it with like another music box, and it was like like loaded with a bomb. So due to that, they assumed that it was Maria's fault. Like you know, like she she was trying to kill him or something. Yeah, but, but at the I same thought... time, she... go ahead. Go ahead. But at the same time, she was the same person that. 
threw a bomb out the window when she realized that it was a bomb. You know what I'm saying? And how the way they just instantly, like, immediately got mad at her. It's all they're blaming her. I was like, what? What? I'm just saying, I feel like if she wanted to kill y'all, she would have never said nothing about the bomb, you know? But nah, she she saw the bomb. It's like, oh, nah. It's a bomb. Let me throw it out the window. Saves everybody. But they didn't see it like that. So I was like, But... Yeah, but I thought it was a really smart plan by Egos. But yeah. Um, that's all I really have to say about these these thirteen episodes. Do you have anything to really add on about anything? Do you want do you have a specific episode you wanted to bring up? Or no. No. Okay, so we're going to end off this episode by talking about... Did you have, like, a favorite episode of these 13? Okay, you... Start talking. Okay, so... My favorite episode... I would say is 33. Kosek Daz. Yeah, look. Okay, so... Yeah, that's, that's my favorite episode. Well, we already kind of explained why, but that episode was just really well handled. It was really sad, and I like how they actually got it connected or to feel something about Kensaku. And yeah, that that episode was just really well handled. I don't really necessarily have a least favorite episode. I would say. from these set of episodes, but yeah. So, I think that's it. You have anything else to say, Gloria, before we end off? No. Okay, but then. thank you for having me again. No problem. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did, don't be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys with hard work. Adios. <laughs>